Bitcoin's climbed over 300% since the lows in March, and I believe we're now in a confirmed bull market. Now, I want to cover a few things in today's video. I want to look at how we can trade this market moving forward with some simple indicators bit of a price projection moving forward and potentially where we could see ourselves fall back to from our $18,000 level. If you've never bought Bitcoin before and you're just sitting on the fence, now is definitely the time to be researching Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies and learning technical analysis so that you can take advantage of this coming bull market. I have a link for independent reserve in the description down below. You can sign up there if you're a New Zealander or Australian and you can purchase Bitcoin, Ethereum and other cryptocurrencies there. If you're just just starting out, I do have a video on the channel to help you learn how to buy Bitcoin. Now, with that said, this is not financial advice. It's for education purposes only. And sometimes I try and be entertaining. And if you don't find me very entertaining at all, just be sure to hit the like button down below to say thanks and the subscribe button if you're new here. We cover everything in the cryptocurrency space and stocks. Everything is technical analysis based, looking at our investment portfolios all around. So let's dive across into the Bitcoin chart. So three things I wanna have a look at today. The first being what we can expect moving forward, how we can play this market. The second is, are we gonna see a pullback from here? And the third, a nice big hopium projection. Now we're gonna track the market throughout this bull market. So stay tuned on the channel, subscribe if you haven't, and hit the like button to show your support for the technical analysis on Bitcoin. So first thing is the moving average. I wanna have a look at that. I haven't brought this into the picture for a long time, especially with the stocks that I cover on the channel. Essentially with this one, it's just a bit of an indicator. It is laggy but I want to see if the market is going to pull back to the 20. Reason being is pretty much looking at the market in the previous bull market, so that was from 2015 through to 2017, we can see with the 20 MA on the way up, it basically touched on it and used it as a support metric along the way to the final high. Now it was a long way off the top, well, all the way down here at 9,000, 100, 9,700 once it actually broke through. So I don't use this to trade off of because it is just so laggy. I, I, I wouldn't want to lose you know, 10, $11,000 of a Bitcoin, uh, about 50% getting out of the top. I think there's many other opportunities to get out closer to the top than using the moving average. However, I do like the bounces that it had along the way up to the top. So what I'm looking at here is as we started to move up, you can see it just come back. It takes some time. This was probably a couple of months through from December into about May. That's a long time, five and it is six months until it bounced off and then came back. And you can see it did it all the way up into the tops. Now, our current action is well and truly away from the 20 MA. And I'm expecting this to come back to the 20 MA or at least the MA catch up and I think it's more likely for the latter I think the MA is going to catch up and it's probably going to be somewhere around that 14 to 15 thousand dollar level now how I got that is I'll give a little shout out to another channel that I love watching is Benjamin Cohen and so he's talking about the MA here and just explained how to calculate the 20 moving average just moving forward and just to get an idea of how much the moving average will increase on a weekly basis, because I'm looking at the weekly chart here. So that's why I've got a projection of around 14 to 15,000. Basically, it's a 20 week moving average. So we're just taking the last 20 weeks and the difference between where it closed now and 20 weeks ago. And that's about 9,000 20 weeks ago and now it's about 18-ish. So just rough numbers, it's not exact. You don't need to be exact. We just need some rough numbers. So 9,000 divided by 20 is 450. And we did see the close $450 more than what it was last week. So last week was 12,400 and this week we saw 12,850. Now, if we stay where we are and look at last week's well, the 20 weeks ago is close, that's nearly 10,000. So it's about $8,000 difference. So again, you do the 8,000 divided by 20, and then you end up with around a $400 increase. So all I'm saying here is, I think we're going to spend a few weeks basing out, maybe around this 16,000, maybe then have a quick dip to catch up to the MA, bounce off it and move again. So all I'm looking at is something to happen here, 
and then maybe we see a little bit of a correction to that 14 and away we go again we start to build up because we've seen such a massive run from that nine ten thousand dollar level all the way up to 19 so nearly a hundred percent in a couple of months maybe about seven weeks so I, I definitely want to see this just holding its its level and basically trying to consolidate again before we go for another move if we push above 20,000 quite quickly that's a, a weak signal in my opinion because we haven't seen it give enough time to base again need some more energy and some more accumulation into the market so that's the first thing i want to have a look at here is the 20 ma we had a look at how we can play this on the way up looking at history 20 ma usually tends to bounce off it and continue going through a bull market. Basically, if we find ourselves at a high and the market crashing against us, like we did in 2016, 17, crashes again, providing it doesn't get below that 20 MA, then I think we're in a pretty strong position to continue with the bull market. It's quite, well, it is a definitely a scary thing if you're sitting here at around $3,000 Bitcoin and it drops to 2,000 and even 1,800. So that's a 30% drop and you want to be sure of a signal of what's going on. So right now we see 30%, 30% on the way up, 40%. Now I'm just gonna take that signal again, moving forward for Bitcoin. So we're gonna follow that, we're gonna track it, and if we see it fall back or the MA catch up to the market, then that's sweet, 30%, fantastic. That was the first thing. The other thing was what I think is gonna happen next. And I think, yes, I'm repeating myself, I think we're gonna catch up to the MA. So I think there is an opportunity to buy Bitcoin a little bit lower than where we are now. Having said that, if you have not got in, not financial advice, but you should be looking at a plan to understand what the hell it is you're doing and not to get FOMO. Maybe start dollar cost averaging in on the way down. Maybe start buying something now. Just really get yourself a plan together. Now, the last thing I wanna have a look at is the Hopium. Let's have a look at the Hopium where this thing could end up. So on the chart for the Hopium, we have the entire Bitcoin history. Let's throw on the Fib and I'm going from the absolute low here. Let's throw it onto a log so you can see. Here's a low, there's the high. Now I'm using this Fib from the bear market low because the 50% lines up extremely well with this triple top that we saw it break through on very high volume. So I'll bring the volume back out as well so we can see that. So this is the breakout through here. We got high volume and then it came back and retested that. So I find when the fibs have numbers that are matching throughout the history, they're far, far stronger. You can see it just react off the 61%. You can see 50% also came in and stopped the market back here in April, May of 2018. And you can see the 38% played some sort of support back in December before we had the absolute devastation of the COVID crash and then bounce back. So using this FIB and then using this range from around 200 bucks or 150 up to nearly 20,000, I'm projecting that and we're just looking at the 168, 260, uh, and we're just looking at 161%, 261%, and all the way up to 961%. Basically, these are all the levels of the FIB that I found very useful for markets that tend to go parabolic and have absolutely massive runs. Now, if we're taking another quick look, we can see the volume really building up at these high levels at this double top. That's another thing. Let's look at this Hopium and where we can see it head. Now, this is the first bit of evidence for my own toolkit. I'm gonna to look at all the way up to around this 961 to 1,061%. So this is a $207,000 Bitcoin. There is a lot of resistance to get through until we get there, if we get there this run, but these are a lot of the levels that I'm looking at. I like them because they tend to line up with some round numbers. See, we're around this 30,000, 50,000, 70,000, 90 every 20 odd thousand because we we know that that's the range they're nice psychological levels the other thing i want to have a look at is the percentage move from the low so i'm just going to clear off the volume so we can see what we're doing here use the measuring tool get it from the bottom to the top of the bull market and we can see that that was 
around 12,500%. So it's somewhere around 12,500 to 13,000. So if I split that in half, around 6,500. Now, why am I looking at diminishing returns? Because I see the market becoming older. There is more money coming into it. It's becoming more stable. And so we're not going to see the same gains that we saw on the last bull market, like we didn't see the same gains from the previous bull market. And so I'm just taking that as a half because I've seen the half work okay and it's just something to base it off of for now so we've got around 12 and a half to 13,000 from low to top now if i go from the low to the top again we're looking for around six and a half thousand so six and a half thousand lines us all the way up to around our two hundred thousand dollar bitcoin you can see here two hundred three thousand dollar bitcoin now i made a video on this before as well around that two hundred three thousand dollar bitcoin you can check it out on the channel they're two of the next reasons why it's in my bag as around a $200,000 Bitcoin. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not gonna be selling out and waiting until that point. I'm gonna sell gradually on the way up once I get past somewhere much further up from where we are now. Now, I'm gonna add a third piece into this and it is looking from this top, which was the previous bull market top in 2013, was around 1100 and the top we saw in 2017 being 20,000. So that's around a 20x. It's just short of that, maybe about 17x. Now, again, I'm just going to halve that and go from top to top. So, really, all I've done here is go from bottom to top and measure that, and then go again bottom to top. And then I've gone top to top, measure that, and I want to go top to top again. So, we see about, I'm looking at around 15, there we go, 1800, maybe 2000%. Let's halve that and say it's a thousand percent and we go a thousand percent up that is going to take us all the way up to around our two hundred thousand dollar bitcoin again so it's a bit over 212 but we're a long way off these are just rough numbers to get it to that point so there's the third piece of evidence in my own tool case these are my tools i'm putting them on the charts to look at a two hundred thousand dollar bitcoin now i'm going to be tracking this on the way up if something changes along the way we're going to readjust but for now I think we're looking at around a $200,000 Bitcoin just based on history and then halving those metrics. A reminder for you guys who want to get tradingview.com, the free version is great, but they are doing Cyber Monday special. They also had the Black Friday special. So at the moment it is 40% off for the pro or premium is 60%. This one gives you a hell of a lot of alerts. So if you've got prices that you wanna buy in at, this one gives you about 400 alerts to use, whereas these are only about 10 or 30 alerts. So check them out, 40% off, get it 100 US dollars. I've got a referral link in the description for this. So that also helps you out moving forward. Just remember that they have given you a 13 months at this price. Diarize 12 months from now, even 11 and a half months from now. Because if you go for 13 months, you're gonna miss out on next year's Cyber Monday or Black Friday special. Uh, it's a little pro tip that I remember from last year. And basically you can see that it's there, they're giving you a discount and then you sort of miss out on it next time. You can sign up again, so check it out. Link is in the description. Two days, five hours to go from this point in time. So that's my look at Bitcoin for today. It's a macro view, so I'm not trading this on the daily. I don't want that headache or that stress because I see that there is a huge potential for bigger profits to come with doing far less work and far less risk. I don't see Bitcoin falling back to below $10,000. I think we'll be lucky if it ever got to 12,000 again. I really see it being a more 14-ish to $16,000 level that we could see. Moving forward, again, that's my projection around the $200,000 Bitcoin, but like I've said, we're gonna track it on the channel. So if you wanna come along for the ride, hit the subscribe button down below here, hit the bell notification icon, like the video up so that you see more of this content in your news feed because YouTube always changes the algorithm. So be sure to like it and subscribe. We're covering this all the way through the bull market. So if you've got questions, leave them in the comments down below. And we're gonna track the journey from there, guys. It's been a long time coming. We've been through a massive bear market. So be prepared, get yourself ready, get your account set up. I've got independent reserve down below. Get yourself a 
wallet, whether it's cold storage of a Trezor or Ledger, get something else. Don't leave your crypto on exchanges because anything can happen and it's safer in your own wallets where you control it. It's your money, you control it. Thanks for joining me on another Bitcoin video. I've got Ethereum and some altcoins coming up and also of course ASX stocks. So until next time, have more fun to get more done. Peace out.